majority of my childhood was always within the water. There's nothing worse than being out there surrounded by plastic. I was a product designer in another life and it was my job to make plastic products. And after a while I realised that we didn't need the stuff that I was making and so I stopped. I met Andrew and he told me about this project and it just clicked. For me the project was amazing. We could have a better time at the beach because we're not swimming in plastic and pollution anymore. We'd even eat better because the fish are healthier. Marinas, ports and yacht clubs is the perfect place for the sea bin. There's no massive ocean storms. It's a controlled environment. It catches everything floating in the water. Plastic bottles, paper, oil, fuel and detergent. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Another good thing with the location of the sea bin is that people can see what we're catching, what they're, they're swimming in. It's been a big change in our life. We quit our jobs, we've taken all our money and we're putting our heart and souls into making this happen. One of our goals is to make the sea bin from our own plastics to create another sea bin to capture more. It's a domino effect. The second goal is to create a world where we don't need the sea bins. Imagine that, we have a pollution-free ocean for our future generations. We're at the very beginning of understanding how most of our planet works. Jacques Cousteau co-developed the aqualung in the 1940s. And it wasn't until the 60s and 70s that he really showed the world with his eyes and with his lenses and with his stories of what was down there. Because we have such a short history of ocean exploration, we have a very singular idea of what that looks like. And for a lot of people, it's a big man submersible being launched off the back of a ship. But it doesn't have to look like that. Our goal with OpenROV has always been to make an exploration tool that everyone can use. The new version of OpenROV is the best one we've ever built. It's more maneuverable in the water. It's easier to build. You can build it more quickly, and it's a lot more durable. We want this to be a serious exploration tool. Here's how it works. On board the ROV are six batteries, which supply voltage to it and allow it to run for about two hours. It has a USB web camera, which sends video up to the surface via a tether. Once the signal gets up to the surface, there's a little adapter box, which you can plug an ethernet cable into and it allows your computer's web browser to connect to the ROV. It's that simple. That extreme portability allows people to go to places that have never been explored because it's too hard to haul scuba gear there or a much larger ROV. So what we've created is something that's not only low cost and easy to build, but also something that can really get into the places that we've never seen before. Building a small, compact, durable, capable ROV is an incredible challenge. And there's really no way that we could have done it ourselves without this big community of people to help us build it. And the cool side effect is that we've developed this whole global network of like-minded searchers. So when you plug in your ROV, you're not just plugging it into a computer. You're actually plugging into this big community of like-minded explorers. I am so excited to see what people use the Open ROV for. There is so much exploration to be had out there. All you need is a laptop, the ROV, and a place to explore. A few years ago, I was at the gym early in the morning. Happened to be a day that my workout partner didn't show up. I got stuck trying to push out an extra repetition and I could not get the bar off my chest. This is the first time it happened to me with heavy weights and I did not want it to happen again. 
The Max Bench allows athletes to press the upper limits and rescue themselves from heavy weights by simply pushing a foot lever. As a mechanical engineer, I was inspired to design a mechanism to lift the weight off your chest. After some thought and calculations, it seemed impractical due to the need for heavy counterweights or powerful electric motors. My friend Dave came to me with this really interesting weight bench project. When it comes to people getting stuck when they're lifting, we've all heard the horror stories. We've all seen the videos online. It's dangerous. As an engineering project, I thought, why not lower the person out from underneath the weights and let gravity do the work? Then it was just a matter of trying to figure out the design. How do we actually do that? After giving it a lot of thought, you know, I was using my car floor jack the one day, and I was looking at that mechanism, and I thought, that is the perfect parallelogram mechanism for the max bench. We experimented with different cylinders and release mechanisms until we developed our custom hydraulic release system. When the foot lever is pressed, the cylinder lowers the bench until the weight is removed safely from you and your hands. You can adjust the height of the bench to the perfect position. When you are finished, the bench automatically returns to the starting height. Once I started working with Jim, I knew we had to bring this idea to the world and create a stable environment for lifters to go to the max. The max bench allows you to complete the most important final repetitions to make the biggest gains. If you want to take your training to the ultimate level while incorporating enhanced safety into your existing exercise equipment, the bench easily disconnects from the rack and can be used as a flat utility bench. Versatility to the max. The max bench has been tested to industry standards and is rated for both commercial and home use. It has been engineered to safely withstand over four times the maximum weight target of 900 pounds. That's almost 4,000 pounds. We are now working with a world-class hydraulics company to manufacture our custom hydraulic components. You can't dump 350, 400 pounds easily without getting hurt. And so that's where the max bench really comes into play. Our patented system provides the same rock-solid feel as a standard Olympic bench, now with an element of safety. With your support, we will raise the necessary capital to transition from prototype to production manufacturing and take advantage of volume discounts. Be a part of our team and together we can bring Max Bench to you and the rest of the world. By backing this Kickstarter campaign, you can continue to press yourself to the limits with the help of a Max Bench. Janus One is a phone that allows you to simplify your life in a smart way. The size of a credit card, Janus One has two primary functions. It can work independently as a phone that fits in your wallet, and it can be used as a companion for your smartphone. For a simpler life, just insert a micro SIM, use it for emergency calls, or leave your smartphone at home without ever being out of touch. Free yourself from bulk when you want to travel light, or use it as a smart companion to minimize the hassles of your regular phone. For all the conveniences that smartphones provide, there are also a few undeniable headaches that come with using them. We've all experienced the frustration and the hassles of a battery running out during an important call, or if our phone is damaged, or even when it's misplaced. The Janus One is designed to solve all these issues. It can work as a battery backup for your smartphone or other devices. You can also pair the Janus One with your smartphone. By doing this, you can benefit from other useful features as well. Other useful features include a sports pedometer and Bluetooth connectivity. The Janus One may be small, but it's also very durable. For example, it's dust and water resistant and tough against everyday use. Its built-in battery can allow Janus One to stand by for as long as three months on a single charge. The Janus One is a phone that can be used in an emergency situation if your smartphone is damaged or lost. Compact, handy, durable, and stylish, the Janus One is a slim, modern design and will be available in various colors. It's handy, it's compact, it's elegant. Janus One by GT Star. Simplify your life in a smart way. Tomorrow? That's a good question. Yeah. I haven't really even thought of that yet. <laughs> like the look. So cool. Yeah, I watched the very beginning all the way to the end. What are you listening to? Turn left on Haven Side Drive, then your destination will be on the left.
13 knots, swells 3 to 4 feet in height. One day, one day. Also remember to apply thread lock before tightening the screws. And you put it on a spoon and you give it to each of your guests and you tell everyone, wait, 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 and everyone eats the hazelnut at the same time. You get a taste of the honey. Take a minute, just a little bit, and that's right.